The Minnesota Vikings have went out and signed Jonathan Grenard, who in my opinion has massive upside. The ceiling that Grenard has to me is exactly why you want to bring this guy in. The upside's there. Very, very good run defender, a very smart football player, has good pass rush tools and can probably still fine tune it a little bit. And there's a chance this guy becomes one of the better pass rushers in the NFL. And what you'll see on tape with this guy is he's still a little raw. But from an athletic profile, he has everything you want in a guy that could ultimately become one of the better pass rushers. Today, we're going to analyze this guy's tape. I'm very, very excited for it. Let's just get right into it. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and just get right into Grenard's best ability, which is his pass rush ability. You're going to see this guy do a great job with the hands. You're going to see this guy do a great job with the movement. Uh, everything about this guy screams top tier pass rusher. Of course, as I stated, he still has room to continue to grow. And he will continue to grow as he gets better. But one of the things you can't really teach is going to be movement. In my opinion, you either have it or you don't. And you can see this as Grenard gets out of his stance here. He's going to give this right tackle a hezzy move to the inside right there. That hezzy move is going to make the tackle. If you guys keep an eye on the tackle, it's going to make him hesitate just a little bit right there. And he's going to open up the hips just a little bit. And that allows Grenard to hit him with a double hand swipe to the outside. And that swipe right there is going to break the contact. And the tackle is not going to be able to recover. And you see that there's instant pressure on this one. And to me, this is what you're going to get out of this guy. Now, this one's not a sack here. It's not always going to lead to a sack because, of course, things like one step, three step drops from quarterbacks. Plus, being a pass rush is very, very difficult. Generally speaking, being able to bring the quarterback down. But you do see Grenard over and over and over again be able to win. All right, this one actually does count as a sack here. The ball does come out. And uh, the offense ends up losing 19 yards on this one. But you see Grenard once again use the double hand swipe. Now this one's not as effective, but it still does win. And uh, he uses the double hand swipe and you'll see with it, he's also going to rip. So you see the swipe first, and then you'll see him with the left hand right there rip. And that left hand is there to break the contact. It's to make sure that the tackle cannot recover and get back set up. So he ultimately is able to stop Grenard on this one. So it's a great job with the pass rush move. Double hand swipe to rip. And he's going to be able to get to the quarterback. And I love the fact that he gets the ball out. All right. As a pass rusher, there is nothing more important than being able to get the ball out. You're going to have Grenard here do a really, really nice job once again. He's going to beat the left tackle once again. Double hand swipe, gets to the quarterback, and takes the quarterback down. Uh, you can see this is a pretty good job here by the left tackle. He's going to use independent hands. He's going to initially throw a double hand punch, bring the hands down. And you see him with the left hand, right hand left hand tries using the independent hands but you can see that jonathan grenard just does a great job getting around it uh, you can see that after the initial move doesn't work he goes to that second move he goes to that third move and uh, he gets home on this one as well All right again just a really really good pass rusher brings that high motor uh, has the pass rush technique just a really really good football player if you guys ask me All right you guys check this out once again he's going to get to the quarterback he doesn't actually get credit for the sack now, this one's going to end up going to the defensive tackle, but you can see that Jonathan Grenard's basically right there. You can see that he's going to beat the left tackle utilizing a long arm. Uh, he's going to long arm first. And he's going to turn that into a rip move. And it's just a really nice job once again, right? It's a different pass rush move, but again, the guy has so many different moves within his toolbox. Uh, Grenard is one of those guys, and we've seen other guys in the NFL like this as well. Malcolm Coons kind of broke out this past season for the Raiders. Uh, we've seen some other guys around the NFL. Uh, where, you know, year three, four, five, these guys really break out. But they have elite pass rush, right? And it was really just to see if these guys can kind of come together. And I think with Jonathan Grenard, you, you know, the upside's massive. The upside for him to become a really, really good football player is there. And you see all the different pass rush techniques that this guy has. Uh, here's another one. Once again, he's going to beat the left tackle. This time he's going to get an eight-yard sack on Joe Burrow. Third and five. Uh, and Grenard is just a dominant football player, right? You definitely see it on tape what this guy's able to do. Now, one of the things that we've seen so far, you know, he's long armed to rip. He's double hand swiped to rip. Uh, and that's been more so to the outside. This one's going to be to the inside. Uh, so keep in mind, these are all different pass rush techniques. Uh, it's all a little bit different in terms of angle and body positioning. On this one, he's going to swipe the hands of the offense tackles. You can see the offense tackle is going to throw the hands. He's going to get swiped by Grenard who's going to basically hit an inside move. And you can see he gets right past the tackle and he basically gets the quarterback and he brings the quarterback down. So once again, just a really, really nice pass rush move. 
Another thing that you'll see with Grenard Aton when it comes to his pass rush is just the way he moves and the way he's able to utilize that to win. Uh, so you'll see on this one here, he's going to do a great job changing direction. He really puts that right foot into the dirt, and he absolutely beats the left tackle on this one. You see that right foot right there? It's going to hit the ground, and you see him just straight up change direction and beat this offensive lineman. The lineman is not able to get there. Grenard's just a lot faster. He's quicker. He's more explosive as an athlete. And he wins. And this right here would have led to a sack. Had the running back, you'll see right there, come and kind of chip him. But again, it's still a winning rep. And for the Vikings, this is what you want, right? You want another pass rusher that can get after the quarterback that can open things up for some of the other guys as well. You want a guy that you have to double team, that you have to chip. You know that your tackle isn't fast enough or strong enough. He's not quick enough or whatever it may be. Uh, and one of the things with Grenard that I think sometimes will get overlooked is he is a pretty strong football player. He has a pretty good bull rush. You'll see him going up against the left tackle here. I believe that's Orlando Brown Jr. He's going to get right underneath him. He's going to push him right back into the quarterback. You can see him get that pressure on Burrow, which forces Burrow to actually take off running. But you just see it, right? He gets out of his stance well, very low, gets right underneath the left tackle. And just takes him right back into the quarterback. I mean, as a left tackle, that's a highly paid left tackle. is is not something you basically want to have happen, right? And this is not a one-off thing. I'll show you guys a couple more snaps. Here's another one. He's going to basically go right through the left tackle on this one. And he's going to get to the quarterback. That's a really, really nice shot forcing the quarterback to throw it up. This one gets intercepted. Of course, this one as well. He's going to get right underneath the right tackle. He's going to take the right tackle right back into the quarterback. Just a really, really nice shot once again, generating that pressure utilizing that bull rush move and i think he's a pretty underrated defensive lineman against the run uh, the guy definitely knows how to disengage he knows how to get off blocks he has a good motor which allows him to pursue things from the backside. and of course he's athletic so again i think his run defense is a little underrated i think people look at him as only a pass rusher but the guy's strong he's long he's lengthy so he can definitely make plays and one of the things that Grenard does well when he plays the run is he uses that speed and that natural movement he has. Uh, so on this one here, you see him avoid two blocks. Uh, and again, it's a different way to kind of play the run, but if it works, it works, right? You can see number 84 comes around. He has the wham block here on 52. 52 is going to basically just straight up make him miss. Great job just dipping right past the tight end. Uh, you got the offensive lineman coming. He kind of avoids that as well. He gets in there and he makes the play. That's just a really, really nice shot by Grenard. Now, you guys have already seen the long arm technique, but one of the things that I think is a little underrated with Grenard, he does this against the pass rush and he uses it to win as well. Uh, but he does a really nice job with the long arm move. I think it's one of the techniques that I think is sometimes underrated. Guys either have it or they don't. Uh, and in this instance, you see this. Look at him get that left hand into Broderick Jones, who's like 6'7" massive lengthy he just kind of gets outreached here by Grenard. He just kind of gets tossed to the side right so again a great job just kind of being disruptive and being able to make the play on a second and six here one yard loss just a great job overall i think jonathan Grenard is a really really good pickup for the minnesota vikings uh, he's gonna bring a unique football player to the vikings a guy that has a much higher ceiling than what we've seen so far uh, he's a guy that could easily become a top five to seven overall defenseman in the nfl if he just continues to develop and kind of stay on the trend that he's on right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, consider subscribing. Uh, we will be covering the Vikings this season. We've done some content on them over the past couple of seasons. Let me know what you guys think about this signing. Make sure to drop a comment down below. And let me know if there's any players you guys want to see tape on. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with another video.